ಯೋಗಯೋಗಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಭೂತ ಭೂತ ಭೂತೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಶಂಭ ಶಂಭ ಮಾಧೇವಾಯ ಯೋಗ ಯೋಗ ಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಭೂತ ಭೂತ ಭೂತೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಂಭೋ ಮಹಾಧೇವಾಯ ಯೋಗ ಯೋಗ ಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಭೂತೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಂಭೋ ಮಹಾಧೇ ವಸ್ತಾವಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಪೋತಾವಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಆಸೆಯಂದು ಕಂಠ ಚೇಸಿನ ಕರ್ಮಮು ಚಡನೆ ಪದಾರ್ಥಮು ಚೇರುನು ಮೀವಂಟ ಚೇಸಿನ ಕರ್ಮಮು ಚಡನೆ ಪದಾರ್ಥಮು ಚೇರುನು ಮೀವಂಟ ಸೇತಿಲೋ ಅಮೃತಮು ಉನ್ನಂತ ಸೇಪೆ ಅನಧಮ್ಮುಲಂತ ಆಗಾಧಂ ಪೈ ಪೋಯೇ ನಾಡು ಎವರು ವಸ್ತಾವಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಪೋತಾವಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಆಸೆಯಂದು ಕಂಠ ಶೇಷಿನ ಕರ್ಮಮು ಚಡನಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥಮು ಚೇರುನು ಮೀವಂಟ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಮೂಲ ತೋಲು ಬೊಮ್ಮತೋ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಮಾಯ ನಟ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಮೂಲ ತೋಲು ಬೊಮ್ಮತೋ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಮಾಯ ನಟ ಅಂದಮು ವರಕು ಕಿಂಚದಾಸೆತೋ ಕಂಚನು ಜಗಮಂತ ಅಂತಮು ವರಕು ಕಿಂಚದಾಸೆತೋ ಪಿಂಚನು ಜಗಮಂತ ವಸ್ತಾವಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಪೋತಾವಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಆಸೆಯಂದು ಕಂಠ ಚೇಸಿನ ಕರ್ಮಮು ಚಡನಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥಮು ಚೇರುನು ಮೀವಂಟ ಚೇಸಿನ ಕರ್ಮಮು ಚಡನಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥಮು 
Right now, uh, everything has become corona-related in the world, but we must understand that uh, viruses and bacteria are not new. It is just this particular one is a little new to our systems. The important thing to understand is how to handle this human being. Because if you do not know how to handle this one, then you are handling everything else only by accident. So this is what karma means, that is you become conscious. You become conscious of your actions, physical action, psychological or mental action, emotional action, and energy activity, you become conscious of all this. The more and more this activity becomes a conscious process, the more and more you gain control over the nature of your life. What happens within you, for sure, what happens around you also to a large extent. So this time, this forced holiday that most of you have got, this break that you have from your normal chores, work, business, variety of other responsibilities and duties that one may have in their life. This break can be made use of to turn inward. Turning inward means this. Turning inward means that everything that we have gathered is outward. The world around us, for sure, outward, things that we possess in our life, our home, our clothes, our automobiles, our relationships, well, even our body, because this also we gathered over a period of time. So everything that we have gathered is outward, including the content of your mind, which you gathered from outside and the karmic substance that you gathered with through the process of life. So leaving the outward, if you sit here creating a little distance between you and everything that you have gather, gathered, you have naturally become inward. So the difference is just this, what is me and what is mine? This distinction needs to happen in your experience. For this, there are many methods. Today or probably by tomorrow morning, we are packaging uh, two things. One is a chant, another is a Isha Kriya together. This is a good time to do it because this is a good time to distance yourself from everything that you have gathered, including your virus if you have gathered it. <laughs> If there is a distance between you and what you have gathered, your ability to manage situations, above all, your ability to manage yourself is so greatly enhanced, so greatly enhanced that people who do not know how to manage themselves almost start thinking you are superhuman. Well, as I have said many, many times, this is not about being superhuman but realizing that being human itself is super. So now a whole lot of people are complaining, what do we do with our time? We can't go to office, we can't go to business, we can't go out, we can't go to restaurants. What do we do at home? When did home become such a terrible place? If home has become such a terrible place, you must take these fifteen days to fix it and make it into a wonderful place. Because that's where you live, that's your base. If your home base is so, uh, so 
horrible in your experience, isn't it time to fix it? Well, I'm telling you, the problem is not with your home, the problem is with yourself, because you have to spend time with yourself, which is scaring lot of people. <laughs> well, if it is so that, that uh, being with yourself is such a big problem, I want you to appreciate the problem that the world may be having, working with you, being with you, your family, people who work with you, your friends, how much trouble they must have with you when you are terrified of spending time with yourself. It is very important that we fix that also. This is a good time to do that because, well, in some way, hope the losses of life, the loss of life will be very minimal for all of us. But whether it happens or not right now, the fear of virus means essentially mortality is staring in your face. So if mortality is staring in your face, you understand how fragile human life is. So at a time like this, it is good to make a distinction between what is you and what is not you, what is me and what is just mine. What belongs to me is all right, what is me is of vital importance. Whatever may belong to you, you may spend a lifetime gathering things, but well, there is no container service <laughs> at the end of your life. So we have come here with a limited amount of time and energy. Now there is a reminder of our mortal nature by a microorganism. Well, I want you to understand that the organism is not against you. It is just trying to make your… make its life. Unfortunately, its aggressive way of making life takes your life. Like human activity, human beings in search of their well-being, how they've destroyed life on this planet, how they're threatening the very life of the planet itself, not with bad intention of course, just with the intention of living well. So similarly the virus just wants to thrive and you are the host. The, it is just doing what we are doing to the planet, that's about it, nothing more, nothing less. But it is right now not a time to philosophize and remind ourselves of this and that. Right now, your fundamental responsibility is to stay alive and to keep everybody around you, especially those who are vulnerable, alive. We have to pass this test. This will only happen out of responsible action. Right now in India, Oh, nearly the entire country is like uh, going into lockdown in the next twenty-four hours, I think. Uh, till thirty-first, that means nearly ten days or uh, nine days. Well, instead of going half-hearted at these things, it is better to go full hog. That's what government has decided. The state governments have also made up their minds on this. So, airlines are all grounded. Trains are cancelled, no public transport, except a few essential services, everything is down. This resolve is very necessary to make this into a successful process. Otherwise, half-hearted resolve just causes substantial amount of trouble without results. We must go all out and we must be ready for a two or three week lockdown. I know this is very expensive economically, in terms of business, in terms of livelihoods, many problems are there. But all these problems are better than being dead. Being alive is the most important thing. Problems we will handle, we will pick up the pieces of our life after this situation is over and see how to build back our lives. Institutions, businesses, individual people, everybody will take the hit. But it is important that we do not allow people to die. We do not allow people to mm, perish simply because of irresponsible action. It's extremely important that you stay alive. That's the most important thing right now. Rest of it we will see later. But at the same time, the economic activity need not one hundred percent stop. Today is the year of… Uh, this is a time of uh, technology. 
With this, a whole lot of things can be kept going. Not all of it, at least parts of it can be kept going. Uh, let us not panic, let us not create distress, because if you worry too much, you will double the trouble, that's all that happens. There's already enough trouble. Don't multiply the trouble in your mind and create panic and fear. We will deal with this to the best of our abilities. Our commitment, our focus should be that least amount of mortality should happen. We should not allow widespread deaths to happen because of this virus. This is a responsibility both in India and rest of the world, every society and every individual must take. Uh, I thought there are questions from various people. Namaskaram Sadhguru. The first question is from Ritika. Sadhguru. Where is she from? She is from Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Sadhguru, I recently read that in Italy, dolphins are coming closer to the shore. In Poland, deers are walking on the street. In China and many other countries, pollution has come down. Is it nature's way of teaching us a lesson? Well, we are referred to as human beings. No other creature on this planet is referred to as a being. We are human beings. That means the basic qualification is we know how to be. Unfortunately, humanity is going about trying to defy this. Well, I've been saying this in many, many ways, if we don't learn to do things right consciously, nature will teach it to us in a very cruel way. The most important thing in all this is population itself. Right now, what is it that is bothering us with this corona? There is the density of population which makes it jump all over the place. But nobody wants to address, generally leaders in the world have not addressed this, because nobody wants to go against religious groups who are always against this for whatever reason. Uh, this is going on for too long. So one basic thing is population. This is really the only problem if you ask me. That is, we are nice but we are just too many. <laughs> now, we took death into our hands with medical sciences, vaccinations and everything. Once we take death into our hands, it's just simple sense to take birth also into our hands. But we believe is God's work. Death, we want to ensure we are responsible for it and we will handle it. Birth also should be handled with the same thing. If death is postponed, birth needs to be postponed. This is an important thing. The human footprint has become so big, so very big, that there is no room for other creatures to live. Now, uh, this may not be scientifically correct, probably it is not, but suppose you were a virus. Suppose you were a virus and you live in other animals and animal population is going down and down, would you not uh, choose a new habitat? Maybe. That is what the virus has done because there are not enough animals. One thing is wild animals have dissipated in a very uh, tragic way. Another thing is every day other animals are being slaughtered. In a year, we are slaughtering over seventy billion animals for food. Seven billion people killing seventy billion animals across the world. <laughs> I'm sure we are not eating that much, but uh, that's how wantonly we are living. So, if the animal hosts are disappearing, maybe the virus is mutating to live in a human being. This is not… I'm not talking science, it's just simple logic. If you were a virus, would you not do that? Definitely you would do that because if your habitat is disappearing, you would like to find new habitat, new places to survive. So, in a way, 
It is, but uh, this is not a time to talk about these things. This is not a time to say, you did this, so this is what is happening to you, you deserve it. No, this is not a time for that. This is a time for sensible action. If people are infected and they're suffering, they need your compassion and attention. This is not a time to talk about all this. But long term, we must think about these things that if we don't make room for every other creature to survive in this planet, then you will see we even we will not be able to survive because our life is not independent of all other creatures, particularly… particularly microorganisms. They are very much a part of our life. You can live without your relatives and friends, but you cannot live without microorganisms, they are making so many things happen. For all you know, this virus also may turn friendly over a period of time, because that is how these pathogens work. They are looking for a place to live and thrive. So, their activity is going on a certain way. Is this a teaching? See, in every situation there is a teaching if we are willing to learn. If you are willing to learn, calamities need not happen every day, every moment. There is a teaching, there is a learning. But unfortunately we don't learn, we wait for calamities to happen and then we want to philosophize about it. Please do not philosophize, please do not go about saying, well, we got it and you actually we deserve it or people deserve it, those people who did this deserve that. Leave this nonsense, this will not take us anywhere. Right now, the thing is to see how not to carry the virus. The important thing is, you don't become a carrier, you don't get infected, make sure nobody else gets infected. The simple thing is distance right now, distance from everything. This is a time to be alone, this is a time to turn inward. Well, I've been trying to turn you spiritual for a long time now. It looks like it needed a virus for you <laughs> Please. Namaskaram Sadhguru. Namaskar. Is there anything all the Isha volunteers all over the world can do in making the situation a little better? All these millions of volunteers we have, right now the best thing is to stay off the streets, stay away from people around you, keep five to six feet distance and a simple respiratory etiquette that everybody is talking about. Manage this, right now there's nothing much to do. In the local areas here around Isha Yoga Center, we thought of uh, launching a, you know, awareness campaign for the rural folk. That is still in consideration because uh, what I gather is most… Uh, most people are already aware because of the television and the social media that is on. So, they're pretty well informed, even in rural areas. The next step is, well, if things go out of control, if there is a massive uh, diffusion of this, if such a thing happens, hope it doesn't with this lockdown, I hope it… we don't get there. But uh, yesterday, uh, in my conversation with the health minister in Tamil Nadu, we have offered that uh, if it becomes necessary that you need thousands of disciplined volunteers, we are available and we will come and serve. So this commitment we have taken. Similarly, in wherever you are in the world, this is something that you can offer. Well, there's a risk to this, of course. There is a risk going out. You yourself should be extremely disciplined to see that you don't add to the problem. Instead of trying to solve the problem, you should not go there and you yourself become sick and add to the problem. Every person who gets infected is adding to the problem. This is what we need to stop. Right now, the best thing is to stay away from people, stay at home or uh, if you're… If you're not in a city, if you're somewhere in more spacious uh, areas like rural areas or hills or somewhere, it's best to be outdoors rather than indoors. Instead of being cooped up in the fa with the family of uh, five or ten in a small building with four walls, it's better to be outside. The important thing is you maintain at least two meters space around you all the time till this passes. Well, is this going to pass off just like that? Maybe not. But 
if we hold it for long enough, our ability to handle it could be greatly enhanced. This is what all the scientists and doctors are saying. Next question is from Zahid. Namaskaram Sadhguru. I have been binging on your videos from the last few days of lockdown. I must say you are a rock star. I want to know what's the next step for people like me who have not learned any of your spiritual practice so far. How can we start our spiritual journey? Well, you're… Uh, I don't know why you're uh, downgrading me. Uh, <laughs> I'm a yogi, but now you're downgrading me, uh, downgrading me to be a rock star. Because as far as I know, uh, most rock stars live a very bad life. Uh, I'm not living a bad life, I'm living a very good life within myself and around myself. Uh, so, uh, don't put me down, you can call me a yogi because I am one <laughs> I know what you're trying to say, that's fine. Well, see this is the whole thing. Only when uh, most human beings do not have enough intellig intelligence to do what is most vital in their life, when things are happening well in their life, they need a calamity, they need a disaster to wake them up. Fine, it has come, hope it doesn't turn into a disaster, but an impending calamity is staring us in the face. So this is the time you want to turn spiritual, it's fine. I don't know or I don't care for what reason you turn spiritual as long as you make your life profound. First of all, let us understand what is spirituality and what is a spiritual practice. Everything that you have gathered is largely physical in nature, including relationships and works, it's all physical things. That which you did not gather, that which is life itself, this is spiritual process. Essentially, what you are saying is, should I do a spiritual process means, should I find a means to delve deep into myself, know the profoundness of my existence or should I live just on the surface? Should I just live with a heap of things that I've gathered or should I know the nature of my existence? This is the question you're asking. You should, you did not do it all this time, now you think I'm a rock star. So if you like that, it doesn't matter how it works for you. But as I said, we are putting out a package of a certain chant and a certain practice called Ishakriya. It'll be available on the app, you can make use of it. The chant is about generating samat prana or heat in the system, ushna in the system. Ushna, the English word would be just heat, but it is not in terms of temperature, but there is something called as ushna and shita, which in English language translates into heat and cold, but that's not what exactly it means. It indicates that direction, but it does not mean that. So if you generate enough samat prana and create ushna in the system, your immune system will function much better. So the chant is about that. The chant will generate a certain amount of strength in the immune system because it generates heat. You have heard, probably you have not, but uh, most Indian people would have heard of a word called tapas. Tapas means… tap means heat. Tapas means a process which generates heat in the system because keeping the immune system at a high level of resistance is most important if we want to go through life in a comfortable way without small things throwing us off from the purpose of our life. Colds and coughs and fevers are throwing people off their… whatever they wish to do in their life simply because the immune systems are not as good as they should be. So we will teach you this uh, chant and Isha Kriya, which will help you to hold yourself little away, little away from everything that you've gathered, including your body and the content of your mind. If you do this, the important thing is just this. See, you know only two kinds of suffering, physical suffering and mental suffering. Once you create a little distance between you and your body, between you and your mind, this is the end of suffering. 
So this is a time when you should make yourself in such a way, you are beyond suffering. Once you are beyond suffering, you will naturally want to explore the very depth of your existence. This question is from Sergi. Dear Sadhguru, I live in France, but I am an Italian. All my family is in Italy. How can we not panic and be calm in this situation? It is very difficult for me to stay quiet. Thank you for your help and take care of you. Well, d different uh, people around the world are p placed in diff different situations. Just yesterday I was talking to somebody that I know very well that uh, her son is in New York City infected with coronavirus. Here mother and father are here in India. The boy is alone there in his apartment and uh, they're terrified. Now uh, she's telling me, why do we send our children so far away? Can't they be happy and well here where we are? We send them so far away and now he's infected with coronavirus and I don't know what to do. Well, I reminded her, well, ten years ago you were also very far away from your parents, now you come back. Maybe before you die he will also come back. That's not the point. The point is just this that you need to understand human well-being will not come because of going here or going there or doing this or doing that. The wonderful rain out here, we're outdoors <laughs> So, uh, I understand the struggle that people who are dear to you are elsewhere, particularly in a place which is going through uh, throes of uh, infection and I'm sorry, you know, hundreds of deaths per day, definitely you will be concerned. But by worrying yourself to sickness, by panicking, you are not going to solve any problem. As I said, the more you worry that you will only double your trouble. There is trouble right now. Nobody can deny that. There is genuine trouble for all of us, no question about it. But Shall we deal with the trouble to the best of our capabilities or shall we multiply it in our mind? This is the choice we have. I would advise, please do not multiply this in your mind. There is enough problem in the world already. All of us, let us see how to deal with this, how to minimize this problem for ourselves and everybody else around us. This is the focus, this is what it should be and this is what we should execute because this is what is needed out of a human being. This question is from Tejas. Namaskaram Sadhguru, I recently read an article mentioning that after the lockdown in China, divorce rate went up. Now that we are starting it in India, do you have any tips for us Indian couples? Well, <laughs> if your marriages are surviving only because of separation, it's a sad state. Well, uh, at least the virus has made them realize they're in a marriage which actually they did not have because staying together for a couple of weeks, it's going to break up everything. Well, that means you really didn't have a marriage, you just had a an arrangement which was going on because of your absence, not because of your presence. I don't think that will be a big issue in India. I'm sure here, those who have been busy all their lives, uh, they will enjoy being with their families. Uh, they will bond well and make their families more meaningful for themselves and for everybody else. That's how we deal with things here. I don't think we have to implant that. When a society becomes absolutely about how to use everything for your well-being, if you're only thinking in terms of how your husband or wife uh, should serve you, whether they're useful for you or not, if this is a constant thought, this kind of thing will happen. Let your life be in such a way that you're always looking at how to make somebody else's life beautiful. You… you being beautiful is a project that you should finish within yourself. 
and now your project should be about how to make everybody else's life beautiful. Thank you very much. Let's close here. It's pouring rain. Yoga, Yoga, Yogeshwaraya Bhuta, Bhuta, Bhuteshwaraya Kala, Kala, Kaleshwaraya Shiva, Shiva, Sarveshwaraya Shambho, Shambho, Maha.